How much candy do Americans buy? Nearly 600 million pounds of candy. And this is just for Halloween alone. That's a whole lot of sugar and sweets. After the sugar high wears off, you could be left with some lingering issues. That's why your best bet is to enjoy the candy in moderation. And so we have Dr. Stacy Blythe from Cone Health. She is joining us today. She is a family medicine physician at LaBauer Primary Care. And she's gonna explain, you know, a little bit about why we and the kids, right, should take it a little easy on the candy tonight. All right, first, let's talk amounts because we know we're going to eat some candy. That is just how Halloween goes. But how much is too much when it comes to both kids and adults? Of course, uh, much of that is based on your size, right? So us adults theoretically get away with a little bit more, even though we don't need it. Um, the little guys, of course, you have to be a little more careful. So, so th and that is relative, but certainly uh, this is a night where it's hard to fully police the candy intake like we might normally do. So you, you, the little guys are going to have to eat a little less. You know, the kids who are really excited about this, the 8 to 13-year-olds, you know, you can let them get away with a little more, but they, they may suffer a few... Uh, uh, stomach pangs after the fact if we're too loose on that. And do we have any like parameters on what a little less is and a little more is? Well, that that's fair, but you know, the candy that these guys get comes in such different sizes. So if you're talking about the little fun sizes, um, you can certainly get away with, you know, hard to say, um, uh, you've got an older kid, certainly six, eight pieces, you know, if you're talking full size candy bars, well, you better moderate that down to a couple, theoretically, right? Right. Although we all want to know the houses that give out the full-size candy bars, do we not? Right. Okay. It's not just a myth. That's right. right. All right. So there are, of course, some negative impacts when someone has too much candy. For sure. So one of the, the, the smartest things I, I encourage people to do is not that they really feel like eating because they're so excited, but if they're going to eat beforehand, don't eat a lot of sugar, right? Not a lot of carbs, don't eat a sweet drink, get some protein, try and get some veg in them. So they've got a good baseline. Um, but after the fact, no matter what we do, a lot of them end up with tummy aches. They end up with headaches. Um, they don't necessarily hydrate while they're doing this. So you do want to make sure they hydrate well, and then you deal with the consequences if they, if they do have the downstream upset stomachs, for instance. Keep the rest of the food in the evening bland. You know, there's always uh, medications like uh, famotidine if it gets really bad. Uh, but uh, yeah, that, I would say the headaches and the stomach aches are probably the biggest things you see with these kiddos when they overdo. Yeah, for sure. Halloween candy has all that sugar in it. So what what does that do to the teeth and what are some do's and don'ts about that? Sure. So we all know um, sugar is incredibly difficult on the teeth. It turns into acid and feeds all the little bugs that unfortunately we have to admit I'll live in all of our mouths. And so we really have to take that down as quick as we can. So. Of all the nights, uh, you know, tonight's the night they definitely have to brush and they have to brush well. If they have a routine, you want to really make them stick to it because brushing tonight and honestly, just as vigorously tomorrow morning is going to be very important because no matter how well they brush tonight, there's going to be some residual effect in the morning. And of course, they're going to have leftover candy. So these, this next week is a time to really, really remind them how important dental hygiene is to recover from this uh, uh, little bit of overdue we're about to do. Right, you don't want all the treats to turn into tricks down the road for sure. All right, if a kid's Absolutely. bedtime is like 10 and we're kind of like, you know, moving that down like tonight, right? Because they've been up. So let's say the kid's bedtime is 10. When should they have that last piece of candy so it doesn't interrupt their sleep? Sure, so, um, you know, honestly, you know, with adults, same thing. You really want to stop eating, if you can, a couple hours before bedtime, let's say two, give or take. Um, so that the, the food has time to digest, pass through the stomach, and you're going to have uh, uh, a much lower likelihood of having heartburn or upset stomach during the night. So a good two hours. Two hours, all right. Now, some parents say, you know what, it's just one night. Can they just let their kids go crazy just for the night? So that's definitely a personal call. Um, uh, they, yes, they can, but they'll suffer more of the consequences on the other side, unfortunately. So moderation is good, sort of you know, let them have fun, but use it as a teachable moment. Yes, treats are fine, but you have to eat well, like that dinner beforehand, that good food tomorrow, so that the treats don't become all we eat. We don't, our meals, we don't want our meals just to be carbohydrates and processed foods. We want good solid meals with proteins and veg, and then you can have a treat. And so we use this as a time to sort of teach them how you balance that. 
All right, that definitely sounds like a good way to help kids maintain moderation and avoid candy overload. Any other recommendations that way? I, I have found a few tricks um, that can be helpful just in terms of not even so much that night, but now for the next week, you have the whole struggle of candy being in the house, right? Definitely keep it out of the bedrooms. That keeps younger siblings and uh, pets safer. Um, and then, you know, some families I know will, uh, will um, they'll use it as a barter. And, you know, for every 10 pieces of candy you give up, you might get, um, you know, a little, some other little toy you've been coveting or some other little uh, gadget that you've been after, sort of like credit. And that kind of shrinks the size of the candy bag you have to argue about. That's a good little trick. Um, but from here, once you get through the first day, really, you just have to set some rules and stick to them, which we all know is so much fun when we're parenting. <laughs> for you sure. Know. You love I know. that. Yes. All right. So we're about to take a short break. When we come back, we're going to talk about what happens if we don't do the moderate thing and we do have the upset stomach and how do we handle that and what kinds of things can we do? That's coming up next. And we are back with Dr. Stacy Blythe. She's talking about what to do if you wake up tomorrow or the kids wake up tomorrow and they've had too much candy. Okay, so this is a normal scenario after Halloween. We will say some may have that upset stomach. What are the do's and the don'ts with that? Uh, so if we're talking the next morning, you know, basically you just want to get something on their stomach. They probably uh, ate too much sugar last night, produced all that excess lovely stomach acid. Now their stomachs are off. So some protein, a nice bland breakfast, nothing too fatty, again, not too, uh, uh, certainly not spicy, should settle the stomach the next morning. Um, if it's that evening um, uh, and their bellies just hurt, I always found a, a, a nice warm uh, uh, water bottle or a heating pad really just would settle their stomachs. You certainly, um, carbonation, if it's not sweetened, if they'll drink soda water can settle the stomachs a little. Um, there are, you know, if it's bad enough, uh, a little bit of famotidine, a liquid famotidine for kids will work. If it's a headache, I do usually recommend Tylenol as opposed to Advil because their stomachs are already a little upset. Um, and then just uh, drinking plenty of water to just flush all that, the, the, the sugar and the acid out of their stomachs. Yeah, the, definitely the flushing certainly helps it seems. All right, so when is it time though to call a doctor? When has it gotten to the point where it's, yeah, th those home remedies are not gonna help? So, so fortunately, we don't see that happening too much with Halloween candy, but certainly if they get into the phase where they're not just maybe queasy or nauseous, but actually throwing up, you might want to give us a call. Some kids who just have real tender stomachs can end up with diarrhea and one or two loose stool. I'm not too worried about, but if you get into three and four and five and they're now starting to get a sore bum or they can't keep anything down, so they're getting dehydrated, you want to give us a call. Certainly, you know, fevers or severe pain, again, you'd want to give us a call. Okay. Are there any other morning after things that parents should look out for Halloween um, next day? And what should we do for each one of those kinds of things? So, you know, yeah, I know we all usually do it that night, but of course, troll the bag and take out anything, you know, that, that is, it, is, is you don't recognize the name of, isn't wrapped, um, certainly chokeable sizes, especially if there's younger siblings in the house. I think that's one of the things I worried about the most. Um, and then uh, the, the next day, again, you just want to get into a healthy routine of, okay, this is in the house now, this is a treat, but this has got to be in conjunction with eating well, brushing your teeth, understanding that it's a treat and not something that you absolutely have to have so that if this doesn't go well, you know, we'll, we'll cross that bridge and, and change the rules if we need to. All right, um, you know, maybe it's mom or dad that went a little too hard on the Snickers and ate more than they normally should. Uh, what should adults do anything different if they have an upset stomach? So, you know, all the same stuff, you know, they have more options, my Lanta, Maalox, but honestly, you know, I tell adults, it turns out none of us 100% do what we're supposed to do. Humans don't come that way. So we're all used to, you know, falling off the wagon for one reason or other with our diets and how we take care of ourselves. And so, just get right back on. So you had a rough night, like don't spend a lot of energy beating yourself up. Just today, you're gonna eat that, you know, that boiled egg and that little bit of uh, healthy veg in the morning and try and get better about how you eat the rest of the day. That should right the ship fairly quickly. Tums, you know, that kind of stuff is always fine. But if you end up in a scenario where your stomach um, decides not to settle down and you have the same problems with vomiting or diarrhea, of course, again, give us a call, but um, mostly just, you know, 
you, you had a rough night last night and get back on the, the right uh, course and take care of yourself today and it should pass. All right, and so like Halloween sometimes is like New Year's Eve for some adults, right? They drink a little bit too much witch's brew. What do they do to treat that? Yeah, so, so again, remember alcohol is a sugar and sugar is a sugar. So that can get out of hand pretty quickly and they definitely can exacerbate each other. So real sugary alcohol or, or sugar with alcohol can really make alcohol stronger. So you really do want to try to moderate the intake for sure. But if you find yourself uh, struggling the next morning, it's sort of the same advice. Hydrate well, get your protein and your fiber, try and eat well. Um, you use things to help the upset stomach and the headache, preferably Tylenol versus Advil at that moment. Um, but uh, an ounce of prevention when possible is always <laughs> ultimately the best approach. For sure. Thank you so much for your time and your expertise, for sure. Lots of good information there. We want to make sure that you have it all. What we want you to do is check out our To Your Wellbeing section. We'll have it all posted there shortly.